High pressure dry nitrogen decay test in operation right now to confirm the replacement of this condenser and the new line and O-ring that it's not leaking. So from the previous videos that I've done on this vehicle that are just prior to the release of this vehicle, as you can see, we're at 162 PSI. It's been four minutes and 37 seconds since uh, I started this test and it indicates that the pressure has dropped 0 0.1 psi and i'm not going to say that's a leak i'm going to say that's more like the rubber hoses even though i let it set about five minutes prior to starting the test <clears throat> because before you always start these tests and i always got to remember to include this piece of information on here you let the system stand for 5 10 15 minutes depending on the size of your system and condition and how much rubber hoses you let it relax, all the rubber hoses and O-rings and everything stretch out and stabilize the pressure before you hit start. Then you break out your ultrasonic leak detector because your refrigerant leak detector is not gonna work on this one or your soapy bubbles. And we hit that fitting down there that was leaking right up in there. In this case, I'm gonna hit it with the ultrasonic leak detector even though it says it's not leaking while well, there it goes it's back at zero again and <clears throat> i just do it for the hell of it because i always want to make sure and a lot of people say oh you're just wasting your time you already did that leak test or the bubbles i like to do two things two or three times because i am not a fast volume high moving uh bonus rate uh franchise that needs to kick the car out and get the money in for the next vehicle i have to make sure my customers who are the customers of their customers don't have comebacks because of something that I passed up. Um, so that's it on this. High pressure nitrogen leak decay test, holding steady. I'm gonna give their repair a thumbs up um, and move on to the next step. Now I'm gonna bleed out the nitrogen. People have asked me this, so I have to say this in my video and I, I forget to. They go, what do you do with the nitrogen? Do you recover it? Is it hazardous? No, nitrogen is what we breathe. The air, the oxygen, people say we breathe, is 98% nitrogen. So all you do, I'm gonna show you right now because I have to repeat this. And we don't need to listen to this. It's just running, but it's not connected. That's the vacuum pump. So here, I shut off the high side because I put the nitrogen through the high side. I open here's the low side is open and we're going to bleed the nitrogen off to the air let me shut this now let's open it because it was shut so there we go and you can see the pressure dropping down and the nitrogen is just bleeding off to the air because what is nitrogen it's the air we breathe so there's nothing, there's no chemical, there's no toxin or anything like that. It's not going to hurt the environment because nitrogen is what we breathe, or at least 78% of it. And that's all. It's that simple. Now that I have that procedure done, now I could close off that line that goes to the nitrogen I bleed off. Still have the high side closed. Still have the low side open. But now I'm going to open up to my vacuum pump. Now we're open up to my vacuum pump and now I'll connect my vacuum pump and I will put the system under vacuum. Come on, there we go. And now I'm sucking the nitrogen out of the system through the low side and you'll see the high side trying to catch up to the low side on the numbers. And it'll take a little longer because I'm reading the pressure on the high side off the high side fitting that is not connected to the low side because I have it shut off right here. And you see 29.9, it'll stay there for a while because I'm not drawing from both sides. And yes, uh, unlike refrigeration and commercial refrigeration or residential HVAC, um, I'm drawing through a set of gauges and that's not the most ideal way, but for teaching purposes and fewer component changeovers, it's easier this way. Okay, I'm down close enough. I'm gonna open up the high side now, speed up this video a little bit. And then eventually 
this will dive down into the microns. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video.